park was a bust. Yeah. yeah. Everything was booked for the weekend and we don't want to move on the weekend because then we're having a right. hard time finding another campground. So we're on our way to a first come first serve Union Creek campground. Another Union, the second Union Creek sure. Creek 2 is what this yeah, is going to be called. Creek two. Yeah. This was all first come, first serve, right? I think so. Our AAV is over 28 feet. Oh, that's good to know. Not recommended. Right yeah. Not recommended. Okay, we made it to Union Creek Campground. Our first number two. Number two, in our first attempt was the was a state park, and they were all full for the weekend, so we didn't want to pack yeah. up and move. Leave so. in two days. And actually, this place is really quiet and yeah, secluded. Really secluded for a campground. Yeah, it's like you got your own little private den back here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. so. And I think we'll have enough sun in the afternoon and enough sun in the morning to keep warm. So. We should be good. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So time to set up the tent. Cheers. Move it in. is 402. Let's see how long it takes us to set up camp. I don't think it's going to take us an hour and a half. I think we're getting pretty good at this. Let's see. So 438. I think it was 402 when we started. So we're faster at setting up than taking down? We are a lot faster at setting up than taking well, down. Well, it takes time to stuff. Yeah. To stuff everything back in their bags. Maybe that's, that's it. What takes it's a easy while. just to kind of pull it out and just pull it out, throw spread. it on beds and yeah. stuff. But anyway, I think that was pretty darn good. Less than yeah. 45 minutes. So back here, we have our own private little shower that Richard picked up. It's so sweet. I'm so secluded. <laughs> what was in that water? It's not. It's, it's okay. bubbles. Okay. Those are bubbles? Yeah. Tiny bubbles. Okay. <laughs> it says water. <laughs> Please do not wash dishes or clothes in the restroom yeah, sink. See it? See it? Stop. So, okay. The last time we used <clears throat> the blue jug was at our dispersed campsite and we used lake water. Right? Is it lake water? Where'd we get that water? Yes, that little lake where we had to walk down the hill. The dispersed <laughs> I tried it. Oh no, that was the river. That was the river. That oh time. yes, that That's was the a river. Deschutes river. Deschutes, yeah. Yes, it was the Deschutes River. So we filled up the blue jug. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fill it up with potable water and then put one of these little things in. Put one of these sanitizing things. Sanitizing things, then we're going to let it sit and then we're going to rinse it out a couple times and then we hope that we're back in business. So. So we're having chopped up some asparagus and over to take it away Richard. Okay, so we got tuna. We have tuna and I have a little bit of garlic and a little bit of pepper and this that I'm sprinkling on here is ginger. And we're going to pan sear this for a minute 26 seconds on each side. 
because that's what I know cooks it perfectly. One minute and 26 that's seconds. That's right. Okay. No more, no less. <laughs> a lot of people have commented that we, we bring a cast iron pan and it's heavy and whatnot. But listen, we're full time and this cast iron pan can cook just about anything we need. So I just wanted to make that known that it's important that you have the proper cooking utensils for camping. You know, one thing about our camping that's different is that we, we cook every meal. So many other people go out to restaurants and do all this. Well, during all of this stuff that's going on, it hasn't affected us because we've, we've cooked, we cook our meal, right? So we're gonna start the asparagus and then we're gonna pull the asparagus off, cook the fish. When I flip the fish, I'll put the asparagus back in, put the lid on and the asparagus will be finished. And then we'll have this. Uh, have this. If this is done, right, so the broccoli can go in here, correct? Yes. Okay. There you go, a feast made for kings. Mm-hmm. There we this. go. I think we done it again. Seared perfectly. Okay, so I didn't think it was that cold this morning. However, Yeah, but that's at the dew point. We're at the dew point. That's why everything's wet. Oh, okay. So just because you see your breath doesn't mean it's super <laughs> cold. It's chilly, but it's not <laughs> bad. I'm still waiting when I cannot sleep with my neck warmer on top of my head. Hey, I didn't have to sleep with pants. <laughs> I think that's more than anybody wants to know. <laughs> And just so you know that we don't always eat huge meals, here's breakfast. Yes. All right. We're staying at Union Keep. We're staying at Union. You can't say that. I just like I couldn't it. say Big Meadows Reservoir <laughs> Campground. I did get that one. <laughs> okay. okay. Right. We're staying at Union Creek Campground. Number two. Number two. For uh, us. By Prospect, Oregon. And right out of the campground, they have this beautiful trail that goes, it follows the Union Creek River, which then intersects with the Rogue, Rogue River. And then we're going to take it on down to the Natural Bridge. So we're on a little non-motorcycle quest today, yep. is what we're doing. And we're going to be fishing in Mexico. <laughs> Only the race car guys that are watching right now will get that. Okay. <laughs> anyway. The water 
is coming underneath here. Yeah, it's going right there where we oh, were just okay. at. So you can just see the water right there. And it's going into a lava tube and popping out. And popping coming out, out right, right here, here and going down. Okay. That is so cool. Three at peak it says three hundred and thirty-five thousand gallons a minute out of that. Wow. Six feet a second. That's how fast it is. What you doing, Chris? Oh my gosh, <laughs> scared me. <laughs> I'm hooking up my camera because we're going for a ride. Remember? We're going to Crater Lake. I didn't forget, that's for sure. <laughs> Today we're going on the rim drive around Crater Lake. It's 33 miles. They have over 30 pull-outs. I love a map. When it's... Okay. I can go down this employee. Go, go down the employee, right? Okay, thank you. I could quite understand. Thank you. Oh, we're employees. We work here. <laughs> yeah. I guess just keep going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, we got the pass. We gave the pass. Here's the village. Okay. All right, so we made it to Crater Lake, as you can see. Study your visitor's guide before you get here, because if there's specific ones that you want to see, they're not marked. So oh, well, at least the first two are not marked. Yeah. Let's, anyway, let's go that way. We're thinking this is Discovery Bay. Because well, look at it, it's awesome. And we've discovered it. <laughs> and I don't think I've ever seen that, that color of blue before. Yes, it's gorgeous. It's I mean, it's like here. the color of the blue on that bandana. It is a true blue. Yes awesome what we've heard is that th this lake is only fed by the melt by the runoff and the snow melt is what we've heard yes so there's not even an exit basically it's a 10 or a 4.9 trillion gallon pond because yeah. there's no eggs there's no outlet of it uh, either that's what keeps it so blue they say because it's just that pure snow so 
Correct that, us if we're wrong. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because we we don't know. We you know yes. we're taking that off of one little quick search on the internet. Yes, the visitor centers aren't open, so we're kind of winging it as we go. Yeah. And we don't want to give out false information. So if this is not correct, please let us know. Right, so we're on the east rim road now from the main visitor center, and it said the road is closed four miles ahead. So I don't know how much, how many miles do you think we did out of this 33 miles? Big bump. Uh, oh, oh big bump. And, I don't know, another five? <clears throat> yeah, 15, maybe uh, half, a little more than uh, half. Well, the rim road, the, the views are fantastic, but the road itself is kind of rough, so be aware of that. It can, it can jar you, especially on a big road bike like I've got with stock shocks. The one time we know where we are. The one time in the whole park. Oh, that's right. We know exactly where we are. Yeah. <laughs> we can go to the map. Yes. yes, we're going to take this little quarter mile hike and go check it out. And speak like we're experts because for once we know right where we are on the map. Where, where are we going now? What are we doing now? We are going We just to... did another half mile quick hike. That yeah. was actually really pretty. Now there's a waterfall over here. Oh, no, there's a waterfall. Yes, correct? yes. And as soon as you come in on the west entrance, it's like, boom, everybody's there, and boom, everybody wants to stop at the first mm -hmm. one or two or three pull-offs. And so you're So everybody is there. You're battling for parking space. You're battling for picture space. You're battling for quiet space. Yes. And so we peeled off. And when it said road closed nine miles ahead, took it to the end, but now everybody was at that end. But all the stuff in between was clear I know. and empty. And here we are, look. I know. So you kinda Nobody. Gotta, you kind of got to pick and choose your spots of where you want to land. So and this can, is one of the... You can find quiet places in Crater. You got to hunt for them. But it's beautiful. It is the coolest color of blue. Say, baby. No. No? <laughs> it's here. wonderful, huh? Yes, I love the colors. The colors are fantastic here. They're very vibrant, uh -huh. I think. Yeah. So far, Oregon has been pretty cool, I think. Oregon has been good to us. Yes. Yeah, Oregon Oregon's is pretty amazing. cool. And, and, you know, you could we could spend all summer in Oregon oh, yeah. tooling around. We haven't seen... Every time we stop somewhere for any length of time, there's five or six things that are around from wherever we stop. Yeah, and we, we haven't, and seen haven't planned anything. A smidgen of what Oregon has to offer. Oh, I bet. I bet. <laughs> yeah, I agree. But if Crater Lake is on your bucket list, make yeah. it a point. Check so it out. So I would think if you go later, this is July, mid July. Uh -huh. So maybe mid August, end of August, maybe that would be open, the, the whole rim drive, depending on snowfall.
Richard thought he lost his friends. Well, I've lost two of them. Oh, we just have two left? Yeah, you said, you said. So we burnt, burnt it a little bit. Let's see if we take the burnt off. It's done. Yeah. I'll eat the burnt. Ooh. It's totally done. <laughs>